thank you franchise india for putting together this great show to bring business opportunities to potential investors and making it easy for them to look at so many options under one roof investors can evaluate and weigh what business best suits their need and expectations so you all must have visited all the so stalls that showcase several profitable business opportunities or would be going there after the summit you would find so many of the businesses calling to you and you would be attracted to several of them however it is important for you to carefully consider if a particular business meets your requirement i am sure you must have defined your business selection criteria have you yes no anyway if you have not if you have done it it's great otherwise i would advise you to carefully define a selection criteria that would assist you in selecting the right business opportunity so each business has several aspects that need to be considered before we can zero in on a particular segment or category of business and then further spend considerable time investigating each interesting opportunity in the segment of your choice i would further advise not to rush into any business without due dil diligence so there are several factors that need to be taken into consideration before a well informed decision on the business to be done can be arrived at some of these factors are nature or segment of the business so it can be financial hospitality or education sector investment required some would like to spend few thousand some would like to spend few crores duration of working hours that the business would need do you want a full time or you want a part time customer or consumer profile that you would be dealing with men women mother father kids imagine what they would look like if they were angry your own experience and academic qualifications you may be a qualified chef and you may logically choose food industry or a teacher may choose a profession into education or something in total contrast to your education i am a qualified dentist but i found my calling in education that too in robotics based learning solution for children so this is no this has no linkage to my education qualification so the other point would be personal peer or family preference if you have any existing success story business or failures around you or any social standing that your business would bring to you what you want to be known as businesses tend to label you be it in good or bad sense and profitability and return on investment how much and how fast you want your money back risk involved and volatility in volatility in the venture recession free or highly volatile the last point is very important why do you want to do business who why what are you really really looking for in a business to make lot of money to keep yourself busy for your prestige in the society or just because someone known seems to be doing great in a similar situation once you have kind of debated through all these questions you'll be able to see the kind of business you would like to do i have gone through this cycle a few times in the last 10 years and i have come to believe that women entrepreneurs are best suited for early learning or i can also say that early learning is best suited for women entrepreneurs so there are several factors in the favor of this statement and i would like to share my point of view with you all natural instinct hamara sabse pehla guru hamari maa hai so we can connect with women so children can connect with women and understand their needs and the teaching come naturally to women from the minute a child is born he or she needs tender care and nurturing so women possess this quality as instinct they are born with some men are also good in this and they can even be better than women in some sometimes but majority women are score higher in this field when we talk about early learning women are natural motivators they shape the delicate mind of the child sensitivity compassion and empathy these are the essential ingredients for developing a child of you know early age group so they can the women can create a comfortable and conducive environment for the young for whom it is difficult to leave the security of their mother's lap women can are able to relate to the customers which are mostly parents or mothers and they can handle their queries as they can understand their needs parents feel safe living leaving their kids in the hand of uh, and the care of women teachers and entrepreneurs they can bring discipline and balance to 
an institution which is an essential ingredient for the success of the learning process. It is less taxing on their own time, demands their less time, and thus make it relatively easy for them to achieve life and work balance. They can spend quality time with their own children and taking care of their families, which is an important aspect for them. They can build and grow the business on their own pace. No corporate type deadlines or undue pressures are there. There's respect in society and dealing, they are mostly dealing with families so they can maintain dignity in class apart from being a fulfilling and immensely satisfying profession for a woman. Medium investment. So easy to start, and especially if it is being considered as second income of the house, it can be started with less burden on our own or family saving and funds. There are decent returns on investments and regular income. It's a recession-free business, easy to start. You can start from your home basement too. So these are some of my thoughts on this subject because I was given a subject, so I was talking on that particular one. However, I would urge and advise you that you must choose the business that would, you would like to do from your heart. Put in your best efforts and success is sure to follow. Never lose sight of your goals and never lose hope. Manzile unko milti hain, jinke sapno mein jaan hoti hai. Pankho se kuch nahi hota, hauslo mein udaan hoti hai. Thank you so much.